The epicenter of yesterday's earthquake was close to a large earthquake that struck this year and the massive September 21st earthquake of 1999. Experts say the seismic events could be related and they will watch closely to see if this previously quiet area has been transformed into an active fault zone. An earthquake occurring on March 27th and Sunday's earthquake have brought back painful memories of the deadly 921 earthquake. The two earthquakes this year were close to the epicenter of the 921 quake. Even more striking is the fact that this area previously experienced few earthquakes. Before 921, this area and this fault had not seen a strong earthquake for a very long time. Small earthquakes here were very small. The two earthquakes this year were due to the Philippine Sea Plate moving to the northwest. Geologists observed that these three earthquakes have different epicenters, though they also exhibited a similar downward surface movement resembling a detachment fault. Some experts believe that Nanto quakes could be associated with a hundred-year earthquake cycle. Is this a hundred-year cycle? It's very difficult to judge. We need to know how much energy is released and when it's released. So right now there's no way to predict. Professor Chen Hong Yi also says that recent activity along this fault could indicate the area has transformed into an active fault zone. 